What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lim Man, the Snapstar of Star Life TV, and I'm back at it again with another video. And today's video is gonna be a story time, man. I'm gonna take this one all the way back to 20, 2016, or maybe 20, like you know, around that time. It was I, I was in Lexington, Kentucky, you know, just minding my own business, y'all. This story is gonna be about the time I was mistaken for a whole bank robber, y'all. So. It was one day I was I was walking, you know, on a little main strip or whatever, just minding my business. I think I was walking to my military. I think I was trying to join the army or whatever at this time. I can't remember. But I was walking. I had walked to the bank and I had went, you know, went to go speak with a recruiter because I was thinking about joining the army. That's what it was. So I was going to do all that stuff. And, you know, I seen a lot of polices and stuff, you know, riding because every day in Lexington, all you hear is sirens, sir, sirens, sirens, and all that type of shit. Cause somebody either can't drive or, you know, some, some BS is going on or it's a fire or a wreck. Some, it's always something. So you really just like used to it. It's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. So I'm, you know, I go get my money out the bank, but it was at a bigger bank across the, like actually across the street. But, you know, the, the bank robbery had already happened. I guess, you know, the police always getting there late. So I go into the, you know, I'm walking, you know, the police are like stopping everybody, you know, asking questions and stuff like that. So I had, you know, you know, got my money out the bank and went to the um, to the recruiter station. I sat with the recruiter for like five, maybe ten minutes before the police the police had walked into the recruiter station asking, did he see anything or hear anything that, you know, anything suspicious or whatever. But I'm like, why would he know if everything happened like across the strip? You know what I'm saying? Like across the street, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, no, I didn't really hear anything. Da, 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 da. So then he, of course, they asked me because I was, it was just me and him in there. And they was telling me, you know, hey, you fit the description of the, the robber. He was black. You had, I had on a burgundy hoodie, I was walking, I had a backpack, and then on top of that, if they were to search me, the money I had in my pocket, I probably had like a hundred something dollars, because I had just got paid or whatever, so I was going to get some money out the bank. I had it like all crumbled up in my pocket, because I just got it and just stuck it in my pocket, so that looks suspicious, but they didn't check me. So the recruiter was like, why would he go rob a bank and then turn around and try to join the freaking military? Like, that don't make sense. And I'm looking at the police officers like, yeah, why would I do some stupid ass shit like that? But they was, they, I wouldn't say they wasn't going, but they asked me a bunch of questions. And, you know, I think, I don't remember if they searched me or not, but I was like, bruh, like, I was so, like, I was pissed off. Because I'm like, how the hell, why would y'all expect that I robbed a bank? And then, but I think they end up catching the dude probably like an hour or two later. Like, I literally was like, man, I'm finna go home. Like, I walk, like, reason why I walked, cause everything was so close to where I was at. Like, literally, it was like a 15 minute walk. So I was like, shit, I'ma just go ahead and walk across the street. It was a nice ass day outside. It was, it was kinda chilly, but it was bearable. Like I said, I had a hoodie on, so I was good. And I always walk with my hoodie like up. So I was like, dude, like now I can't do that no more. I was like, I don't really wear my hoodie. I do. I don't give a damn because y'all going to stick. Never mind. That's getting a little too racist. But it was crazy because I was like, dude, I never. And it was like four or five police officers. And I'm like, bruh, if these motherfuckers really think I robbed a bank, they're going to be like fucking. I'm weak as hell because I'm like, I had everything that looked like I did. I had a hoodie. I had a backpack. And I had crumbled up money in my pocket. So... Could I been a suspect? Maybe, maybe not. But the only thing was, they said I was, it was a black guy, burgundy hoodie, and that was it. And I'm walking with a burgundy hoodie, and I'm a black guy. The only thing I felt like that didn't match the, that I didn't match the description was because I was short. I think they said he was like average height. I'm like five foot four, maybe five five now. So I'm like, dude, I'm not even nowhere near average height. But. That's really pretty much it, man. Like, that was the quickest story time I ever did. But if you enjoyed it and like what you heard, please leave a like and or a comment. And, dude, I'm trying to tell y'all, this is real shit. Like, this is no lie. Why would I come up here and lie to y'all? I have no reason to lie. I'm not going to tell a lie, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, man, if y'all got any stories that y'all done, that y'all want to see that I do, and I might have a story for it, but be on the lookout for more good content, even though I already said that. Star Life TV, we out. Yeah. My baby mama, I bought them shoes and tattoos and even fix your brain.